25 years old and I'm a recent graduate from uh, Rowan University. Uh, I earned my bachelor's degree in philosophy and psychology. Uh, thanks. Um, and I am going into uh, graduate school, uh, Rutgers Master of Social Work program in the fall. And here's something that you probably did not love just by looking at me. You didn't know by just by looking at me. I am autistic. I'm on the autism spectrum. And you don't need to be like, oh, well, I didn't know. I mean, it's just a fact of life, people. There are people who are different than you. <laughs> And you don't need to feel sorry for people who are different than you. And you know, I have a really fulfilling life. And you know, it's, I have my ups and downs. But I, have, I feel pride in what I do. I help others every day at my job at Crisis Text Line. If you are ever in crisis, you can text 741-741 and you can talk to a trained crisis counselor at your convenience. Okay, so I just want to say, um, I discuss controversial things, and including that, I discuss mental illness, and I, and I also make fun of my disability Asperger's syndrome. So, and any reaction that you may, may have is encouraged, happiness, sadness, anger, um, murderous intent. Um, um, I, I actually I, I want to discourage that one if it's towards me. Um, I mean, either way, I get two hundred dollars an hour. Yeah. So you know, but here's one thing I want to talk about that I really hate. Like I hate stereotypes. People like insist that either I have to be inspiring because I have a disability, or that I have to like trains. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, like who thought of that like the dumb stereotype? I have to say, like only like five percent of people on the spectrum probably are into trains. <laughs> I'm into Chinese philosophers. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> I just, I, for many reasons, I just can't stand trains. <laughs> I, I, I just, I just, I just can't, it's just beyond that, beyond that um, stereotype, I just, they come so quickly to the, to the, um, to the, the platform, and then they leave immediately. It reminds me of some people I once knew. It's upsetting. <laughs> and guess what? I just derailed this combo. <laughs> you know, there really is ultimately nothing inherently inspiring about autistic people. But you know, while I'm here, why don't I just throw you some inspirational fodder? Just just to just because because I'm I'm here to play a, a role, play a part. Guess what? What? I got out of bed this morning. And you are, and you know what? You know what? You better follow in my footsteps tomorrow. Not literally. You know, I went on a date once with a guy. Yeah, I know that's weird. I actually left my house. That was really weird. There's some more inspiration for all of you. Uh, so he was really into something that I wasn't. Can you, any of you guess what that was? Trains. So that's a good, trains, that was a good guess. Actually, it was eye contact. It was just like, he had this weird, like, it was like almost like an obsession. It was like, hi. I'm just 
like, oh, whoa, 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 dude, back up a little bit, back up, back up, back up. And then I was just like, you know, dude, there are other places to look. You know, my shoes are down here. I didn't shine this for nothing. I just, I don't, I don't get men. Is this, is this how they all are like? I, I mean, I love men, but I just don't understand. I think I'm just like from another, a planet, another planet or something. That stereotype is probably right. Okay, well, just dudes, dudes, stop staring. Girls find it creepy. Did you find it? Um, erotic when I, you know, when we were talking online and I was making all that eye contact. <laughs> I, you probably didn't. That's what the judge said anyway. <laughs> uh, you know. So, I don't mean to inspire anybody, but when I get home, I'm going to order some pizza using the telephone. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Not through uh, Tinder or something. Alright, my name is Danielle Ryer, and my, you can find me on Facebook through Dr. Comedian or drcomedian.com and um, I do social justice work um, and I'm a staunch advocate for um, mental health, disability, um, physical illness and medical illness reform and if you, any of you have interest in seeing more of my work, please follow me on social media, and I'd love to hear your opinions, your feedback, and your criticism. Thank you.